In this video we're going to walk you through activating the automation feature on your Mac. First let's factory reset the extension. It may take a while to relaunch but just give it a moment. It will open your security preferences for you and automatically place Premiere in accessibility. Then click Next. On most Macs it will enable Premiere automatically in your automation window. If your Mac doesn't enable it, we can try different ways to trigger it to activate. Go back to your extension and click Finish. Reopen the extension and log in. Once you're in go directly to Transitions. Double click to place a transition on your timeline and leave the extension alone for about 30 seconds. It's important to let the extension think and communicate with your Mac. We're looking for this window notification to pop up. Please make sure to click OK. If you click Don't Allow, then none of the effects will work correctly. This notification will only pop up on first startup when placing a transition. If you accidentally clicked Don't Allow, then we have a fix for it later in the video. Once you click OK, your extension is ready to go. If you clicked Don't Allow or didn't see a notification pop up, we're going to reset all Apple events. Open Terminal. and type in TCCUTIL space reset base Apple events, then click enter. On the right window, you can see what it does, it clears my automation window. Go back to the extension, and you should see the notification pop up when applying a transition. If that didn't work, reset Apple events again and restart your computer. Try uninstalling and reinstalling the extension as well.